Good morning, Mr. Regina. Good morning. Trying to get the visual going here. Ah. Uh. I managed to figure it out after about a half hour last time. Hopefully I can do it sooner this time. Uh-huh. Mr. Mesner, Jen, how are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Hi, Mr. Regina. There. Hi. I'm here. How are you? Good, sir. Good. Um, thoughts and prayers going out to Mr. Peterson, though. Uh, what happened? Uh, I got pits and pieces in that. I don't know, sir. All I know is he's not going to attend the meeting today, and there was some sort of a fire at his home over the weekend. Yeah. Where does he live? Do you know what town he lives in? No, sir, I don't. Because I thought it was South Windsor, and we're trying to look it up uh, to find out what happened, and I was unable to find it. Don't know. Miss, maybe Mr. DeAndrea knows. I, I don't, yeah. sir. Yeah, and of course, my curiosity is on that one. And, you know, it, it is typical when you get a cold snap like that. And, you know, you know, you saw what happened, moving animals all into a barn and all the rest of it. And that's when things start happening, you know. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yes. And if you ever decide to get an electric car, please put the charger outside, not in your garage. Okay. The fire departments, all they do is let them burn. They can't put them out. Wow. They say 30,000 gallons of water to put a car out. Hey, Janina, should we be recording this now or wait till the meeting starts? Um, some Jen said the way it's set up, it starts recording. Hi, Jane. Good morning. John, do you know what happened with Ken? No, do you? No, no, it just said uh, house burnt or something. And uh, I've been trying to find out. I thought he was from South Windsor. I know he's up in that area generally yeah we, we tried to look it up we couldn't find him i believe it's tolland tolland yes okay i haven't seen anything in the papers about a fire oh well, there's been been quite a few john it's just a case of uh you know knowing where i sent him a brief email very brief right because he doesn't need that kind of thing at this point why aren't why don't people appear on my screen i just get names other than l um there is a click on you can get for the video on there john i'm on it but i don't see anybody else they're all nope. everybody you can't see me i can see you but only you everybody else everybody else is blank nobody else, we're the only two that clicked on it i think then yeah it just see it looks strange. I've got one in Tallinn here, a uh, house fire in Tallinn three days ago, John. Said everybody okay. escaped, including the family dog, um, but it doesn't give any names associated with it. That must be it. You, you shudder when you hear that. Let's see. Okay. Hello, who's calling in under uh, Bob Dodds? Oh, perfect. Great. Let me promote you. Thank you. Hi, 
morning, everybody. Uh, for those of you who I haven't met, I'm Ryan Burns. I, I'm uh, here in legal. Uh, I know Paul Grabowski had been been working with you uh, over the past several uh, months, but uh, uh, I'm going to be filling in temporarily. Uh, so if you have anything, uh, any questions that would normally go to Paul, feel free to, uh, to direct them my way. Okay, great. Thank you. Are we just waiting for our, our leader? There he is. Everybody got some sound? Uh, I do. We do here. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes, we do. Richard. Al. Here. Yep, we're here. Uh, Anybody talking, seeing? Yes, Mr. You, Chairman. Al, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I get no sound from anybody, as usual. Okay. Uh, can you click on the bottom of your left-hand corner of your screen? Does it say moot down there? Can't hear me anyways. Jen, can you send Chairman DeAndrea a, a chat to tell him to look at the bottom of his screen and to unmute his speakers? Yes. Anybody can hear me now on the phone? We can hear you. I'm not getting any sound can, from anybody. We can, we can hear you. 
We can yep. hear you. We can hear you, Mr. Chairman. I'm gonna go off and start again. Okay. Let's see. We can also, if that doesn't work, we can have him call in. I can send him that link. Let's see. All right, let's see. Here he is. Do you see the bottom of his screen there? He's, there he goes, he clicked it. Yep. How are we doing now? Can you hear us? I'm talking. Here. We can hear you. Can you hear us? Yesterday with the state and nothing came through then either. Jay, do you know what he can do to um, be able to hear us? He's We've logged him on and off. Uh, I know. Um, I mean, it, what I'm saying, he dial in. You, you, can, you can keep your video on and also separately dial in so you have audio on the phone let me send that i can email that to him okay <laughs> he's trying to hold something up here raise oh. it up <laughs> i can't see it here oh do it there again you go. yeah can you hear us now just give me a number to call oh okay oh um, I see one seven seven nine. Two zero three six three seven one seven seven nine. Okay, I can give him a call and tell him he can. Call. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of. We're, we're gonna go back to Morris code here in a second. Am I? Is anybody else getting a lot of static where no voices are breaking up? Clear I here. Am, I am not. Enter your meeting ID followed by pound. It's not, it's not a very good connection for me. I don't know what's wrong. Same thing happened last month. Enter your Are you in a bad area of your house, John? Otherwise, just press I, I, I'm, I'm hearing noise, but not. Be muted throughout the meeting. I called a few times and, and, and no one picked up. Well, he, he's, are we, we're talking about Tony. He, he's actually dialing in right now. I hear oh, it. okay, okay, let's see. Yeah. All right. All right, Tony, please mute your I did it. On the, yep. okay, thank you. Yep, you're right, welcome. You. <laughs> so we'll unmute the call in. He's got he mute just, on the bottom of the screen there. Yeah, he's going to need to keep the video one on mute and he's calling in. So we'll hear on his phone, but see him on the computer. If that makes sense because his computer is not okay. producing sound right now. But he's just going to, um, Jay, it's star six for unmute. Correct. I don't know how we're going to tell him to do this. <laughs> well, he should he should be hearing on the phone right now. So yeah, Tony, hit star six oh. on your phone to unmute so we can hear you on the phone. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Star six. Yesterday, I had another meeting with the state, and the same problem occurred. I don't know what is the problem on 
who's in, but we'll try to figure it out because I got another hearing with the state right after this. So I'm glad to see we have enough people for a quorum. So let's go through the roll. DeAndre is here. Bob Don, I see you, Bob. Can't hear you. He's got his on mute too. Present. There you are. You're good now. Yeah. The Wolf. Are you on mute, Don? Oh, is it me? I, yeah, this thing is terrible reception. I, everybody is breaking up, and I'm not even, I didn't even hear you call my name. Yeah, I'm here, obviously. I'll try yes, to. Yes, sir. There's so we have um, with... Bob out in Arizona, Rob Lewandowski working, Ken Peterson taking care of a fire, which is unfortunate to hear. Al Regina. Here. I see you, Al. Thank you. Richard Tweezak. I'm here. So we've got five members ready to go. I'm going to do my best to stay ahead of everything because I've got comments from Bob and Rob, and I don't have anything for or from Ken unless I miss something. So let's see where we can go with that. Did I miss any surveying items? Um, Bob, did you see? Not that I'm aware of. Right. So we'll go through this and then the minutes and then um, we'll um, move on. Uh, okay. One of the problems I have is that we get everything and it's coming from all different sources. And at this moment, to be honest with you, I've lost my minutes from last month. But we'll, we'll deal with those also. I don't remember seeing him coming in, so. What, what was that? I didn't see him coming in here. Previous minutes. Yeah, I didn't see no, any well, either. So did I. All right, so let's just take the first um, item of uh, correspondence, which I recall was a, a notice about um, a new procedure for how they're going to take the professional land surveying module. They want us to take a survey, which unfortunately I don't have. So if I don't have it today, we'll have to do it next time because I don't have it at my hand. I apologize, but I don't. If anybody does have it or has completed it, if not, I will um, do it after this meeting and um, send it out. All right. So that was A2. I don't have A1. But regardless. A1 was, uh, just so you know, I, I emailed them the attachments out. Yeah, they, I, I got that this morning. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I didn't get that, but I, I did get the PS one and I didn't take the survey. So I'll try to get that done for February 15th. Um, Tony, can you hear me? This is Jane. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so the survey. You. Yeah, the survey is just two questions. Um, one was the um, it, the board name and like what state, and then if we're going to use the mod, they think you're going to use the module. So, if the you answer is yes, we'll use the surveying module. Yes. Okay, so I can answer that. Um, right. Or you after the meeting. Right. No, we definitely we want to use whatever NCWS produces. Yes. Okay, and then there were just two. Um, land surveying items on the supplemental agenda, but that was it. Right. And while I got the applications on the supplemental, I didn't see the supplemental agenda. I must be missing stuff or there's too much coming yeah. at me. So you, I didn't, you see I, that I didn't see it either, Jeff. And I didn't see it either. All right. What was what was the item there, Jane, if you can maybe we can do it um now it, it was emailed out on friday afternoon and it was one class uh 14a license and then a reinstatement because I, I i saw the class four license for um a valid cho erie or something yeah, like right that. so you you received that one but for land surveying it was just the two items I mean, I can quickly email them out now if. Um... Yeah, please, please do that, Jane, and then we'll we can do those. 
the surveying, and, and we'll do that 14A and reinstatement. Bob, if you can look at the 14A when it comes in. I'll try. Let's just see what it looks like. If we can't do it, we'll do it, you know, together after the meeting, and we'll tell Jane. It'll give us time to actually look at it. All right. Okay. I guess I got to make sure that every, well, I guess knowing when it's going to come would be a big thing. You know, like if you tell us late on Wednesday that everything will go out Friday at once, that would be a bigger accommodation, Jane, if it could be done. Because, um, yeah, so I was actually going to ask, what do you prefer? Like, if you give me a date on what, what dates you will, like you want the agenda on one day and then the supplemental on another, like what works yeah. best for the board? Like you we want it by Friday? We understand that things come in at last minute, but if by Friday, so we know to look on all of our junk and whatever else, you know, to make sure we didn't miss something, if we should be looking for it on Friday afternoon. You know, locally we have somebody that sends it out Friday afternoon. We know exactly when to go looking for it. And what's happening also now, like for me, I'm getting e emails from Bob and from Rob and from this, and then they come in second, and Rob had two sections, and then the supplementals come in. Quite honestly, I, 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 um, I can't keep track, and I missed some things, and I, obviously I did. So if, if the agenda comes out Wednesday, if it's possible, um, for the meeting on Tuesday, and then understanding that things come in and you have a, a heavy workload. So the last thing we look for is Friday afternoon. That would be helpful. Okay. Okay. So and then in that way, if correspondence is coming in, like the, the the one from the professional surveyors comment came in attached to something else, and um, it, it's easy to miss it, honestly. Yeah. So if we know to look for it on a certain day, I think it'll help all of yeah, us, it, you it, and. It, and not too soon, because too soon will get, you know, if it comes out weeks in advance and, and we Correct. it gets lost in our emails, you know. That's what I'm saying. Wednesday before, if that's possible, or Thursday and then Friday or whatever. Wednesday sounds like a, a reasonable thing to do if you can do it, Jane. So we look for it Wednesday afternoon and then Friday, you know, we just go looking for a supplemental. You don't even have to tell us it's coming. If it's not there on Friday afternoon, then that's it. Then okay. it gives us Monday to check one last time. I will do that. I was going to ask that actually. So we'll take a look at, at the end of the meeting about the, the other two that they, if they came in, because we will just keep moving along right now. Yeah, because I don't see it yet. Uh, okay, there's the supplemental. It came in you know, 20 and 9. I was running around trying to get something out of my office at that point. So it did come in at 20 up. So we'll we'll take a look at that. All right. So let's see where we go from here. We had um, the correspondence we took care of in one way or another. Um, and similarly, NCWS asked the mechanical engineers to do the same thing that we did for the surveying. So we'll, we'll take care of that. Then we have candidates who pass the CBT exams for the structural um, exam um, and also for the civil, electrical, and mechanical. So that's a list of applicants on page two and three of our agenda summary. Then that moves us into um, applications, unless I missed something. And, and Jane, also, did we did we receive minutes from last meeting's meet, last month meeting? If you know. Um, I do not know. I don't okay, so know. Jen, do you know if it was? Yeah, I should have sent, I can resend them right now though too. Yeah. All right, we can we can look at those minutes afterward also, and, and we can all scan them quickly, take a look at them, and see if there's something. Otherwise, we can look at them in POM and send back a, a, um, a comment if we have any um, corrections or additions. But they need to be voted on during a meeting. Right, well, we can do that. We just need time to look at them, so we'll do them. We can get them if they're available. We'll all stop for two minutes, read them, and then respond before we close. So again, uh, we're moving on to applications now. We have class one exam. Bob Doan reviewed it. Bob recommends approval. Um, he said he wanted to make note. This is really interesting. We've talked about this before. Here we are 
looking for engineers and we can't read specifications. And this would bother John DeWolf, I'm sure. Despite our form asking for years and months of experience, George managed to list 29,980 hours of experience. If I use 14 hours per day, seven days a week that we work, that we work, <laughs> he probably has fewer years and months than he thinks. However, he recommended approval for class one exam, meaning he takes both parts. I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Motion to approve for class one exam, take both parts for Ebo Quarshire. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. I reviewed the next applicant for class one exam, which was uh, Molly Berardi, uh, master's, bachelor's and master's from RPI. EIT in New York, I recommend approval for class one credit part one. So moved. Second. Thank you, Richard. Second. I, I second. Did, did, did you hear me? Okay, John, I got you for the first one and, and Richard for the second. No, I didn't hear it first, but I got it now. I'm having terrible time with this connection. I've got a note that says low system resources may affect your audio quality turn things off. I've turned everything off and I'm still- I can hear you now. You're good. Okay. I can't hear most of what you're saying, but- All right. Um, Rob Lewandowski had reviewed two applicants, Caruso and Lamachami. And he, um, he is, um, Oh, we just wanted to confirm on Lama Chami that he had the EIT. Other than that, he recommends approval of both applications for Kimberly Caruso and Rada Lama Chami. So is there a motion to accept his recommendation? They all have good experience and good education. It just needs to verify that we did actually have proof of EIT on Lama Chami. So is there a motion to accept his recommendation? So moved. Thank I'll you, second. Richard. Thank you, Al. So Jane, if you can find out that the EIT was approved for, for um, Lama Chani, that would be um, something that would yes, be helpful. Yes, I will, con I will confirm that. All right, all those in favor of the motion, say aye. Aye. Um, aye. Any opposed? Hearing on that motion, Chair. <clears throat> then Richard reviewed McKinnis and Namwiset for <laughs> class one credit part one. Yeah, I'll recommend that we approve both um, applicate applicants and and that, and again, I I guess because they're they got their fundamentals from Connecticut, that no information was given to us because of the fact that we we just verify. That they are, you know, their fundamentals, the EIT is from Connecticut. Would you prefer me to send that as well? Well, you know, the thing is, if, if, you, if we actually see it, you know, as, as long as you look at it and you know it's there, because I, I see it's written on the top of our little, the, I, I guess our, our application is written on the top that it's from Connecticut. And I think that's the same question that uh, Rob Lewandowski had in terms of, yeah. you know, Although they're from Connecticut, we didn't see anything. So we just need to verify that you verified it. And then as long as you verified it, then we're okay with that. Yeah, okay. Jane, some, in, in the past, it's worked, I think, better for everybody. Save when we were transferring paper, et cetera. Barbara used to just note up in the corner, EIT, Connecticut. So we'd see the scribble that it was, that means that it was verified. So we don't have to go looking for it. So if you okay. see it, then it's check mark. EIT, Connecticut, New York, whatever. Is that what you're saying, Richard? Yeah, and and it's and 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 it is on her form in terms of if, if we're looking at the, you know, our our agenda, it does have the fact that you know the fundamentals are from Connecticut. So, you know, I see it there too. So um so that, that just verifies that they are from Connecticut. And as as long as they have been verified, then then we we should be all fine. That we're just looking for experience at that point. Right. 
So is, is your motion to a, approve McGinnis and them was set? Yes. Is there a second? Second. Thanks, John. All those in favor of the motion to approve, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. Um, Bob Dome reviewed um, Devani Patel for class one credit part one and recommends approval. Is there a motion to that, accept? I'll make that motion to accept. Thank you. I'll second. Thanks, Al. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. John, assuming I can hear you, which I can, you review the next group, Piantec and Portanova, also for class one, credit part one. I move approval. Second? I'll second. I'll second. <laughs> All of the favor say aye. Aye. <laughs> Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. I woke up this morning and saying, why can't I second? Why can't I motion? I'm going to do that. But anyway, that brings us to the next group of applications for class four reciprocity. I reviewed the next group, Arroyo through Crevier on page four of our agenda. I always like to tabulate. I said how many we have. And since the model law is moving toward requiring the masters also, BS plus 30, out of the 10 applications, only four had the masters, yet all 10 were classified as model law engineers. Four structural, which is good, three civil, two mechanical, and only one chemical. So out of all those, I um, find that they were all duly licensed in other jurisdictions, so I would recommend approval. Is there a motion to accept my recommendation? So moved. Thank you, Second. John. Thank you, Richard. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. All right, then on page five of our agenda, Rob Lewandowski went through the group of applicants from Cunningham through Hayes. His recommendations are, I guess he gave them all an A. <laughs> But anyway, he finally finds out that of those 11 applicants, all of them were model law engineer. And all of them are duly licensed with, ex with extensive experience, all well more than four years. So his recommendation is to approve all of those 11 application applicants from Hinton through McKenzie on, on uh, excuse me, Cunningham through Hayes on page five. Was there a... Motion to accept his recommendation. So move. Thank you, John. Second. Second. Thank you, Richard. <clears throat> All those in favor of the motion to approve Cunningham through Hayes, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. And out of those 11, five of them had masters, and all of them were model law. Just a kind of keeping track. Next group of four, um, class four reciprocity applicants reviewed by Richard Swizak was Hinton through McKenzie on page five, and Madriage on page six. Okay, I'd, I'd like to start with Benjamin Joyce. In terms Joyce. of, yes, he's non-model law, and he had his undergraduate degree in physics. And then he did get a master's um, from the New Jersey Institute of Technologies in electrical engineering, but he doesn't have a, a you know, a bachelor's in engineering. So I, I looked at his, you know, his application or his... I, I guess review from the state of New York where, where he was licensed and, and they, where they, they say, you know, what college did you graduate from? In, in, instead of having a college there, they had experience in lieu of education. And unfortunately we do not take that into consideration. 
correct. So, so we I'm, have to be very consistent on that, considering what I'll be doing after this meeting. Correct. And and so I think that, you know, based upon, you know, the fact that he doesn't have a bachelor's in engineering, I would, you know, not approve his application. Dr. And, and, unless it, he can get it evaluated and, and somehow get it to, to be equivalent, but I don't think so. I, you know, I looked at his, his degree and it, it was just physics. So your motion to deny Benjamin Thomas Joyce. Correct. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, John. The discussion being that clearly he doesn't have the um, qualifying undergraduate education that we require um, for our policy since 2007. Correct. All those in favor of the motion to deny Mr. Joyce due to a lack of undergraduate qualifying engineering program say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. And, and, I, and I will approve the remainder of the applications, noting that uh, Jeremar Magdriaga is, is not model law, but he, he, because he got his degree in the Philippines, but it, it was evaluated and it does meet the NCWS, you know, education requirements. Um, and I also want to note that Boris or Boris Kovar had all sets of degrees that you could possibly have. He had an associate's degree, he had a bachelor's degree, he had a master's degree, and he has a PhD. <laughs> so he worked, his, he worked his way up the entire ladder and, and he finally made it. So <laughs> very in good. Vein, and in that vein, I'd, I'd like to, you know, approve all the remainder of the applications. I'll, I'll second it. Thanks, Al. <laughs> all those in favor of the motion to approve all the applicants from Hinton to McKenzie, accepting they're from Joyce and Madriaja on page six. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. The Bob Doan also reviewed the next group of applicants for class four. And he reviewed Mahmoudi down through Reese, and he recommends approval of all 10. So is there a motion to accept his recommendation? So move. Thank you, John. Second. I'll second. Thanks, Al. All those in favor of the motion, he didn't make any other um, peripheral comments, so just take it at that. All those in favor of Bob's motion to approve, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. Now, Bob, however, did receive the supplemental applications. He had two of them. So he has those we'll do a little bit later. Then John DeWolf reviewed the next group of reciprocity applicants, Regino through you, or Zhu, and Zach on page six and seven. Okay, I am going to make the motion for all of them, but I just note that Bo Zhu has his undergraduate degree was evaluated and it lacks nine credits in math and science. However, he does have a PhD. And Yi Yan Zhu, the next one, lacks three credits in math and science, but it was evaluated and otherwise equivalent and he has a master's. So they're all fine. So I move, we, we approve the entire group from Regino through Zach. Whatever, it'll probably our five years. Oh. Second. What was that? I'll second oh, that. Thank you, Richard. All those in favor of the motion to approve, Regino through Zach, say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. We'll get Sandy. Uh, we'll get um, Robert. Sorry, what was that? Uh, I don't know who's speaking, but I can't hear it. I can't either. I don't know what's going on. On my screen is the phone is is um is trying to speak. <laughs> Yeah, the phone. The phone is is your voice. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I don't know what if anybody was saying something, but I wasn't. What? Let's continue then. We're on um, class nine licenses. We had um, Anunziato through Visser. All those passed the um, EIT. Any? Is there a motion to accept the issuance of the license to those applicants? So moved. Second. Thank you, John. Thank you, Richard. All those in favor of the motion to approve class nine licenses for Anunziato through Visser say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. I have to go up and um yeah, so about that off. Thank you. All right, we had um, Donovan and I'm going to see where this comes from. Okay. Donovan. Oh, there he is. All right. We had um, several applicants for a reinstatement. Richard Swizak reviewed Michael Thomas, Lapston, 2020. I'll let you yep. What did you find, Richard? You know, I I found that it, it was acceptable in terms of you know he, you know I I guess the only thing I didn't see is I didn't see a valid. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I, I'm I'm just mixing my things up. No, it, it, he was fine. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> they like being fine. So I, I'll make a, a motion that we accept his his application for reinstatement. I'll second it. Thank you, Al. Hearing no discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. Bob Doan also reviewed the reinstatements for two applicants, Brian Donovan and Michael Musco. He recommended approval for both. I move to accept his recommendation. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, John. Any discussion? Again, in each case, um, he, uh, he, in this, well, in the case of Donovan, he did, um, he did sign a, a, um, a uh, what do you call it, a, a, a document during his lapse. I assume based on Bob's recommendation that he did um, list that. And again, Jane, the reason we do that is so that we know that we recognize his qualification so that when his license was lapsed, he, he's responsible. So when we, when we reinstate it, it covers that period. What I'm a little confused within the spreadsheet here is um, Underneath the laps, he gave the date of the laps. What's the 22 and the 15? What am I missing there? Oh, I think that year. the box is just smaller. And I got it. And now I got it. Year 20. I got it. So it, it lapsed in 2015, 22. Okay. So it's understandable then that Donovan, you know, his la license lapsed. Then he realized that he got it reinstated. Okay. All those in favor of the motion to approve Donovan and Musco say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. All right. So on our supplemental agenda, 
there were two applications that Bob, uh, that Rob Lewandowski reviewed, and two that I reviewed. So we'll handle them separately for that purpose. And Rob Lewandowski reviewed the application for John C. Hart for reciprocity, and and uh, Jonathan Mendoza. Mr. Hart is a model law engineer from WPI. He's licensed in two states. So he has a valid license in another jurisdiction. And Mr. Mendoza is a model law engineer in structures. He has a um, BS and a master's from RPI, and he's currently licensed in New York. So my recommendation is to approve Hart and Mendoza for uh, reciprocity. A second to my motion. Second. Thank you, Richard. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve, say aye. For aye. Mr. Aye. Hart. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, those, that motion carries. So Hart and Mendoza approved for reciprocity. I reviewed um, uh, George Atala and Alexander Bernardson. Mr. Atala has a foreign degree. It was evaluated. He's an environmental engineering. He has a master's from Temple in 04. He's currently licensed in Massachusetts through 2024. Uh, Mr. Bernardson <coughs> is a, a, a civil aviation uh, designer, designs um, airports primarily. He's a model law engineer, University of Nebraska bachelor's, and he's um, currently licensed in Nebraska through December of 23. So my recommendation is to approve both uh, Bernardson and Atala for reciprocity. That's my motion. Is there a second to my motion? Second. Second. Is that Al? Rich. Oh, Richard. There you Richard. go, Richard. You Richard. light it up. You light it up a little late. Okay. I'm waiting for Alice to start seconding. <laughs> All right, whatever. I got, it, I got it moved by me and seconded by Richard. Is that okay? All those in favor of the motion to approve reciprocity for Atala and Bernardson say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. Then Bob Doan provided review of two more applicants for class four reciprocity, Sarah Mosley and Angel Perez. So his recommendation, recommendation is to approve their um, motion to accept his recommendation. So moved. Thank you, Richard. Second. I see Al. Nobody seconding. I'll second. <laughs> Thanks, Al. I read you something here. Sorry. In favor of the motion by Bob Doan to approve <laughs> Mosley and Perez say aye. 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 The opposed. Hearing on that motion carries. All right. Um, and, and I had one applicant for the supplemental. Okay. What was a, that name? A valid, and, and I'll, I'll spell his last name, C-H-O-U-E-I-R-I. -I. And his first name is W-A-L-I-D. Walt Chirac, C-H-O-U-E-R-I. E I R I. Okay. And, and unfortunately, he he is a non-model law. He got his degree out of Beirut, Le Lebanon. Um, it was deemed equivalent, but in terms of his his application was submitted in about seven different PDFs, <laughs> and and looking at them, that you know they weren't coordinated in terms of, you know, it appears that he tries 
he tried to do everything by himself, but he did not do it adequately in terms of, you know, he did have something from the, the state of Virginia for his professional, professional, you know, PE license, but it expired in 2018. And his references, he didn't have a supervisor as part of his references. So, you know, I'm not sure. He, he does indicate that he's, he is a member of, you know, the NCWES, but I didn't see anything from the NCWES, you know, people in, in his application. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, what is going on, I, I, you know, whether we want him to update his application so that it's not so disjointed or. Um, in this case, Richard, since he doesn't justify anything since 2018, and it's a little fragmented, if you're, if you're missing something, I think you should ask him to clear, to clear it up. Be more, what's his experience since 2018 or verify well, I, I, I guess he, he, hold on, let me, let me get into this thing. Open. Because you have to open up different things. I guess his experience, he's only worked for one company. Um, and he's worked for, what's the name of the company? SKA Structural Engineers out of Potomac, Maryland. And he, he's, he's worked there for 22 years and six months. But so he only has that one application, but, but he lists, a, a, you know, two people that, that were his supervisors. But then when I look at his references, his supervisors aren't listed in his references. And, and, and our, you know, our requirement is that at least one of the supervisors would be listed as a reference. So I'm not sure, and, and and his references, if you look at them, are all recent. They're all this year, I believe. Open. I'm not so concerned about the supervisory aspect if he's got 22 years of experience with the same company. He may be the supervisor for all you know, right? But well, if, if what, maybe his fragment not. can't tell if he's currently licensed elsewhere, then he should be required to, to fix it up. Right, well, the thing is, yeah, because let me open up. Open. So if you look at the Virginia, their um, license, his license is good till the end of Ju um, June 2024. Okay, that's good then. Wh which one? I'm looking at his Virginia, his verification. There should, oh. be, there's a copy of his, um, do, 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 his license. It's the very last one. It's labeled, has his name and it's his current license. The, Commonwealth the, of Virginia on the top left. This is expire 6-30-2024. Let me hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Is that what I'm looking at? No, I'm looking. Yeah, because I'm looking at his PE exam results from Virginia. Yeah, so look at the so, very last so one. So just one? as an FYI on him, he was, he came in very last minute on Friday because he's in a hurry to get it, to get his license. So that's why you got it the way you did. That was why I kind of warned you that it was in several pieces. Because which which one is it? Hold on. I, I, I see the American University of Beirut current license. I see. Maybe this is the one. All right. There it goes. All right. I'm just confused because there's so many different things that were going on. All right. So there it is. I guess I must have missed that. So I, I guess as if we if we don't necessarily need to have one of his supervisors as a reference, then I'll make a motion that we accept his his application for class four reciprocity. Correct. So there's a motion to approve Walt Sharuri. I know that's not quite right, but I'll try to spell it again. <laughs> Is there a second to the motion to approve? I'll second it. Thanks, Al. All those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing on that motion carries. So what we're lacking right now, I guess, is a quick review of the um, minutes, right? And can I just interrupt for a minute? There was one additional 
class four that John DeWolf had to review. Hopefully he saw it. I've seen Tyler it. Tyler Turcott. I, I do not have the supplemental agenda. I've looked all over for it and I, said, I don't have it, but I reviewed Tyler Turcott for class four and I recommend approval. Uh, thanks, thanks, John. Is there a second to the motion for um, class four reciprocity for Kyle Turcott? Second. Thank you, Richard. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve Kyle Turcott for class four reciprocity say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, that motion carries. And I did email the two, the uh, 14A application and then the reinstatement to the land surveying members. Okay, did, did Bob, you, did you get a chance to look at that? And I'm looking to see what we have over here. Came to me because I'm in another room. It's at 9.20. Okay, I got the minutes here. Give me a minute so I can large these on the phone that I'm on here. What are we talking about? Um, Jane sent um, to each of us the minutes from last month's meeting. If you can quickly. I, I don't have. Okay. Would Jennifer sent those? It's 922. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I sent the, the two land surveying <laughs> supplemental items at 920. Just to the land surveying members, though. I, um, I just found them. They went into my chunk email. Just so everyone's aware too, I, I usually, I did attach them to the um, meeting invite as well. Um, so they're in both spots just for next time. Okay, I have the, the minutes now that I can read here quickly. The minutes note changes that we made, we had the memo. That's right. We had the extensive discussion last time about the status of legislation and clarification as to what exactly they meant. Okay. Um, motions and, and uh, approval seem to be in order. We had the class four licenses listed. I do not see anything that needed to be changed. Is there a motion to accept the minutes as presented for the meeting of January 10th? So moved. Thank you, Richard. I'll second the motion. All those in favor 
of approving the motion the minutes from January 10th say aye. 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 The opposed. Hearing on that motion carries. Was there, you know, Janita, you've been standing along there and I, I, we did not get an update on any investigation this month, but are there anything significant that you wanted to talk about? Um, no, Mr. Chairman, other than just to, to let you know that because of the way the board, the I run the board reports, it's in two minutes, say, it's in just not two minutes, two month segments. So, the report you would have gotten today is the same one as I reported on last month. And I just okay. wanted to make sure you knew that. But the other reason why I was here is um, twofold. Um, as you know, Richard Hurlbert retired and uh -huh. John Mesner is here just to say hi. He is the state program manager who took over um, for the occupation professional licensing application side um, and some of Mr. Hurlbert's uh, uh, duties that he used to do. And hey. also you weren't here when attorney, uh, managing attorney Ryan Burns introduced himself to the full board because attorney Paul Grabowski um, left DCP service two weeks ago. Okay. Hello, everybody. And uh, that's, that's you, Mr. Messner? Oh, that's no, Ryan Burns. That was that's Mr. Ryan. Burns, yeah. Okay, once more slowly for me, because I'm slow. Uh, Ryan, what, yeah. what's, your, what's your involvement? Uh, so I, I oversee the legal unit uh, where Paul Gabrowski uh, used to, to oh, work. Okay. Uh, he has moved on, so I'm going to be filling in uh, until we find an attorney to uh, to take over that role. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then, John? Yes, good morning. And you, you, um, you do. What's your job? I just tell. So, so my my <laughs> so job many... is state program manager. I've uh, I've taken over some of the duties of uh, Richard Holbert. Okay. So you'll you'll see me. I'll pop into these uh, on occasion. I was just I had time today, so I wanted to swing in and I've had it running on in the background. So, and right. I just. I thank Janita for making the announcement and let me jump in to say hello quick. Right. Sorry we kept you so long, but um, at least now we got to, to meet you. So thank you. Absolutely. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. So then we have um, Jane sent off to us the um, Kogan and, and, uh, and Harris. So... Try and get that up on a screen that I can read.
Am I missing something from this Kogan reinstatement? I only see two pages. Am I missing it? No, that's all. That's all there is. That's the way they do it online now. But didn't we get a, 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 a nothing in the way of an application for the reinstatement? Um, no, because he just expired in um, in January. Oh, all right. So well, we, in, he, he lists anyway, the projects. Our to, we say our regulations say that we shall reapprove, reinstate. So it just expired. Yeah, it expired in um, well last year. January of 22, but he lists on there the projects that he um, did while his license was lapsed on the top of the second page in that first box number seven. Oh, there it is. I got it. Zoning location surveys, Boxwood Drive. Okay. 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 This certainly doesn't tell us much where he, where he is, but. Reinstate and start instructions, 15 years. What does that mean? I think that's just the way they have it listed on the on the website. Wow. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I don't know why they I asked that same question. I don't know why they have 15 years, but okay, I never received the department a bill. For renewal and completely didn't check it by myself. I had no idea that license had expired. Again, I never received a notice, just noted this year since again, did not receive notice. All right, all right. Was currently, I am currently retired from the main job, but still practice land surveying in my own company. Ah, okay. And his name is what? What's his name? Gregory Kogan. Okay. Now I'm getting it. Okay. Bob, you got any problem with that? Bob Don still there? Oh, he's gone. Probably tried to do what I tried to do, which is to find the application so we could read it. <laughs> yeah. He he probably probably logged off. I can let you know if he comes back in, but he's not here yet. Okay, and there were, it appears there were two applications on that email, is that correct? Or just, yeah, the other you know, one is a class 14A license. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, uh, Don't see the 14A. I see Kogan on that email. Uh, and I thought there were two when I first looked at it. It's under Harris. Oh. You want me to resend it? No, 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 Harris. There it is. I'm opening okay. that now. So he passed the um the fundamentals and, and he wants to be approved. Let's 
Sorry, just wait one second. So he wants to be class one, class 14A, surveyor in training. He's got the experience, and we want a, a motion to approve. But we lost Bob, and I don't have, that means we don't have a quorum to make the decision. Bob is back. No, he's back. Yep. You're back, Bob? Bob, you just need to unmute. There we go. Okay. I'll, I'll move that we approve. Are we talking about Kogan or, or, um, or uh, uh, let's do Kogan first. Kogan is for reinstatement. Yeah, reinstatement approved. Okay, I'll second that motion. Any other discussion on that, Bob? It's just he's, he's semi-retired. Yeah. He wants to get back his license active at last. So now that he's retired, he wants to get back active. So I would approve. We know the name. Yeah. I know the. Okay, so. Uh, we need a little more support there from Al, right? All those in favor of the motion to approve, say aye. And I aye. approve aye for um, reinstatement of COVID. So I believe there's no opposition, so that motion passes. Next applicant we have is Stephen Michael Harris for Class 14A, assuming that he's passed the LSIT. The, um, I, is there a motion to approve then, Bob? If, if, if he's passed the LSIT, I would move we approve. All right, I'll second that I'll motion. So, all those in favor of the motion to approve Stephen Michael Harris for Class 14A, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. That motion carries. So we have our quorum of surveyors and public members. Okay, under the circumstances, I think we did pretty good. Is there any new business that we haven't covered? Hey, not, have we heard? Have we heard anything at all about uh, uh, filling our vacancies? Other than, other than from our first inquiry, it was indicated that there was somebody already chosen when Curtis had suggested making some recommendations. But the response back from the official end of it was that we're under control. Be patient. I think that's what we okay. got. Okay. So unless Jane knows something more than we do at this moment, uh, that's all that we have from last month. So I haven't heard anything at all. If you do, or if you have a means of prodding somebody over there, um, because again, the, the initial reaction back from Kurt was in so many words, <laughs> we're under control, but that remains to be seen. All right, maybe um, we'll hear more. Maybe I should inquire of our governor or the legislative office. I don't really know who the, to go through, Jane. So if you do, if you want to, if you could send it to, to the person that we would have um, heard from, I'll send
send him a note. I have a quick question on the, um, for the evaluation. The thing that we sent out was on the item the, um, A2. For did, did any of the land surveyors get a chance to look at the, um, the link that they had for the specifications for the land surveying exam? I did, I did. not. That was item A. Yeah, I had sent an email um, previously to because we didn't want to because the NCES didn't want us to make that public. So in that right, email kind of, that I had, what's that? Yeah, it was again. It's kind of open ended. It's just this is the um, <coughs> I guess they're talking about how many sections do you want to present for the surveying um, exam? The charge with reviewing the results of the most recent PACs, and they have names for everything, but on the PS examination and re recommending if any divisional examinations are feasible. When, when you go to the national discussions, they, it's always about on the East Coast, we don't on the West Coast, and then and they don't do the type of surveying we do on the East Coast. I can't hear you. You're fading out, Tony. We can't hear you. Western state, you'll know the, the um, yeah. sectioning that we don't do here. I, I think that's what they're trying to do is decide if they should break it. Uh, Mr. Tony, Chairman. you're fading out. Mr. Chairman, people can't hear you. Actually print out that or open. Mr. Chairman, can you hear us? No, he's got his mic off. We looked at it, but there's really nothing for us to do, Jay. Uh, it, it, right? They just said, I, here it is, but you can't talk about it. <laughs> oh, I see. It in the meeting. Yeah, I think the phone just might be kind of away from where he's talking. There. Can you hear us? Oh, oh. I think he just uh, he's that just sort of click. Yeah. yeah, he just he just lost his, his phone. phone connection. Tony, can I know you hear I us? lost my connection. I'd have to dial in again. Now you're back. We well, oh, are back now, Tony. Me. Tony, can you hear us? No, nope. <laughs> no he, he turned on down below here. Left corner. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> <laughs> Enter your participant ID followed by pound. Otherwise, check you have joined the meeting as an attendee and will be muted throughout the meeting. All right. Right, I'm back. You can press back. Uh, we can't hear you. I think it's the, the star six to unmute. There we go. All right. This was good practice for my next meeting with the state <laughs> star six i gotta remember all right Tony, you, went, so, you went through about a five minute dissertation we didn't hear anything of it you know what i was saying was that nationally that they're, they're trying to determine whether or not the, the exam should be broken up so that the guys on the east coast don't have to worry about public lands on the in the mid um you know the western states so i think that's what this was about and when if you do go on and, and uh, open up they show you the breakdown of all the sections for that that potential exam, but it's just for us to look at because they don't want you to talk about it. <laughs> there's some, there's an, um, a zone meeting coming up at the end of April where they'll start to talk about what they want to review at the annual meeting in August. So at the, at the zone meetings is when they discuss what, what these committees are proposing 
and get, try to get a feel for whether or not there's a, a, um, a sense that is worthwhile or necessary. So we'll really get more information at the end of April to discuss. So I think Bob and I can open that up and look at it, and, and uh, Ken when he gets back on his feet, and Bob Doan when he gets back from the golf course. If you see somebody falling out of the stands on the 16th hole this weekend, it's Bob Dawn. You know, he's he's a Bob <laughs> Dawn trying to Bob Dawn. Yeah, please. <laughs> so um, he, he, I think he said he's going out to the, the tournament. So anyway. I, I, I have a question. Uh, yes, sir. We received notice of your training classes. Setting something new to. Yes, yes. I think, um, what was it? For tomorrow, there's one at 1 o'clock. There's another one sometime at 4 o'clock. That was for trying to be better at what we just did today, I think. Is that right? Is it tomorrow, 1 o'clock tomorrow? I think that one of them was this, what's today? Today's the um, 7th. I thought, well, maybe it's today. I, I don't know. There were three days that they gave us. I signed up for one of them. I can't remember right this moment which one it was. Okay. And I think it's just, they, they, the notice was that we're going to stay on this program of um, Zoom, and then if we're not up to date on it, we want to be. We've been using it. I don't know what, how it affects the other boards. What he was saying was they were using go to meetings and they're going to go to Zoom. Okay. We agree. I think that's what it was, Jane. Do you, do you remember? Yeah, I'm looking at it right anything now. For, it's it's. They're, they're moving the hearings exclusively to teams. Oh, to and, teams rather than... Right. Okay, so, that's so right. Yeah, they, teams has progressed more to right. from where it started at, yeah. Right, and, and I guess there is a meeting today at 1 p.m. and next Tuesday at February 14th at 11 a.m. and on Wednesday, February 22nd at 4 p.m. That's it. So next, next Wednesday is the 15th. Right at one no, o'clock. No, it's 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 today at one one p.m. February seventh, and next Tuesday, February fourteenth at eleven a.m. and oh, Wednesday, February twenty second at four p.m. Okay, we use teams here from the from our local town, so I'll I'll check in probably next week because today I'm going to be on another one with the state. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Any, new, <laughs> any old business? Al, quick, quick, Al, quick. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Save Second. us. Second. Thank you, Richard. All right. of the favorites. Bye. 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 Thank you, everybody. It was a, All right. Bye. A little, a little erratic, but we got it done. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, okay. Tony, to start with the next meeting. <laughs> Yes. Good job, Tony. Good luck with the next meeting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you Thank know what you that all. is, right, John? You were going to be yeah. involved in it, but they let you off the hook. Well, they said they may call me if they need me afterward. Okay. It's just no. I'm telling them, you know, this is our policy. And it was, it was I don't know, codified, I guess you'd say, on, um, in uh, 2007. And this is just an unfortunate situation, but the bottom line is, you know, we talk about the three legs of the stool, education, experience, and examination. And so far, he hasn't produced any of those. So that was the basis for the... I, I'm you, with you. you, you, you this you, one's a clear-cut case. Yeah, clear-cut. And you couple that with the, the, the egregious cr crime, it's just an awful waste of time and... and um, money but That's we have to go through it we're going to do it hopefully you don't have to and i hope they don't um drag it out too long but i'm prepared good luck all right thank you talk soon thanks john okay.